Hi, I'm Lance Yulinoff, U.S. Editor-in-Chief for Tech Radar, and I'm holding Apple's new iPhone SE. This is the 2022 edition. So it does look quite a bit like the 2020 edition, but there are brand new components inside. Yes, this is a 5G phone, and it has Apple's A15 Bionic CPU. Apple hasn't changed anything about the iPhone SE's design. It has the same 4.7 inch liquid retina display. It has the same seven megapixel camera on the front, the same 12 megapixel wide camera on the back. The bottom, lightning port, speakers, no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The size is still the same, 5.4 inches by 2.65 inches by 0.29 inches thick. That's all the same. What really matters about the iPhone SE 2022 edition is what's inside. This is now running an A15 Bionic CPU. This is the same A15 Bionic CPU that is in all the iPhone 13s. Same power, same performance, ready to do all kinds of tasks, shoot core 4K video, edit 4K video, play games like Call of Duty and PUBG. It can do all that. You're just doing it on a screen that maybe isn't as bright and powerful and shiny and color rich as the Super Retina XDR displays on the iPhone 13 line. The other big difference here between the last iPhone SE and this one is that this is a 5G phone. Full 5G, get your 5G SIM in there and you are going to have some incredible download and upload speeds depending on the 5G service in your area. And don't forget the iPhone SE 2022 is still dust and water resistant. Now, obviously, Apple has not changed the cameras, but because they changed the CPU to the 815 Bionic, the cameras are more powerful. You do have the same portrait mode capabilities that you had with the last iPhone SE, but they're now powered by a better image processor. Thanks to Deep Fusion and Super HDR4, the photography from this phone, it looks great. What you don't get, despite the fact that we have the 815 Bionic in here and we have that image processing, we still don't have cinematic video mode. That means that you can't shoot pro-level video with the, what's called the bokeh effect, which blurs the background and you can choose what is in focus. That doesn't work because probably we only have one lens here. And also, if you use portrait mode on this phone, what you'll find is it only works with faces, not pets, not objects. So there are going to be limits. So even though the iPhone SE 2022 only has the single 12 megapixel wide camera, it still can shoot in a variety of formats, time-lapse, slow motion up to 240 frames per second. It can shoot video at up to 40K, 60 frames per second, and it looks quite good. You can obviously do the standard photography. You can zoom in digitally. You can do portrait mode on both the front and the back camera. Just remember, you have to have a, a face in it. It can be a, a statue face, but it has to be a, a face of some kind. Battery life on the iPhone SE has always been a sore point. With the iPhone SE 2022 edition, what's interesting is that you're going to get full day battery life. It's probably going to be 12 hours, but that's actually impressive because this has a more powerful CPU and it's a 5G phone. We've been running 5G all day and we're still not out of battery life. So I think that people are going to be somewhat pleasantly surprised with how long the battery lasts on the iPhone SE 2022. The iPhone SE 2022 edition starts at $429 for 64 gigabytes of storage. That's not great. We're kind of tired of seeing 64 gigabytes of storage on any iPhone. The other thing is the last iPhone SE 2020 edition, that costs $399. And one other thing, inside the box, you're no longer getting wired earbuds or a power adapter. Now, environmentally, this is a good thing because Apple's being more environmentally conscious about stuff you may not need anyway, but you are paying more for a little less. Obviously, this is the first iPhone SE that is shipping brand new out of the box with iOS 15, which has some redesigns, some new focus features. You've got the new sort of home screen, which you can customize with photos that you like from the past or customized notifications. So there are a bunch of features within iOS 15 that will come fresh out of the box with the new phone. What do I think of the iPhone SE 2022 edition? I kind of still like the design. I know it's old. 
I know that it's based on the iPhone 8, and actually the iPhone 8 was kind of based on the iPhone 6, but there is something elegant about it, and I see, think some people still like that. I like that it still has Touch ID, but would probably prefer that it had Face ID. I do wonder why they don't do a little redesign and put Touch ID on the edge. They could do that, but that's a story for another time. If you still like to have a home button and Touch ID, prefer the old ways as opposed to the new ways of the iPhone 13, and want to spend less than $500 for a 5G iPhone, the iPhone SE 2022 might be the phone for you.